So I'm slightly out of order here with his assembly videos, but that's okay. We need to add three more pins to the uh, little microcontroller module here. And so we do that by getting the single pin header, carefully cutting off two sets of three pins. This one's got a little bit of ugliness to it, and I'll clean off there. And we should be able to insert the pins and then take one of the mounting headers and do that. Let me actually grab the other mounting header and I'll just do this all in one shot. And insert the other three over here. And now we need to solder those three pins on each side, being careful of course of the Wi-Fi module, I'm already handling it kind of rough. I have gone big back to my little bit larger tip here, uh, my preferred tip for soldering. Get some glasses on so I can see a little better. And we're just going to solder each one of these. Again, sorry, my hands, of course, in the way. I'm trying to work here where you can kind of see what I'm doing, but it's difficult. Happy with a couple of these solder joints. That's got the extra pin soldered in. Now, I don't know at this point if I can just move on to probably want to mount the resistor and capacitor before actually mounting. Well, I guess this, this could be mounted on the back side here at this point. There's nothing to be soldered up under there. Well, there's two. Solder joints there, but I can work around the header strap. So I'm going to use the ESP32 for alignment. Hopefully, I'm not doing something dumb here. Again, I'm. If I was kind of do, I'm doing things in my own kind of order. I'm going to get just the edge pins. We know the alignment's good because the ESP is plugged in. Uh, that didn't work as well as I would have liked. Going to have to solder them all with the ESP in place. Make sure we're down flush. The uh, I don't think I can get this out of there. Now we'll just go ahead and solder them all, and the ESP will take a little bit of heat while we do this. And you're probably better off following his instructions. He didn't use the ESP32 for alignment. And of course, making sure to mount things on the correct side of the board. The ESP32 goes on the back side. And the silk screen indicates what side of the board things were on. Got a really lousy looking solder joint there. It's nice and gray. It's really hard to do. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. So that the camera has a chance of recording me. solder joint I'm not thrilled with. There is a bit of pressure being put down through this board onto that Wi-Fi antenna. 
looking this way, which I probably shouldn't be doing for sure I'll break it. up out of the socket here and get it back on something so it's protected. And that takes care of adding the extra pins to the ESP and getting the socket in place for it. And I've got enough room in here that I'll be able to solder those component leads down in there when we get to that point.